Hey, this is Steve Noble with Noble Tech Tips, Lowbrow Customs. Got a 2012 883 Sports screw up here on the lift, and we're gonna adjust the clutch on this thing. Your main clutch adjustment on your cable is gonna be on your down tube right here, and there's usually gonna be this little rubber slinky or some type of a cover, something like that. And it's gonna be held back by either zip ties or clamps or something. So we're going to pop these clamps off of here. They're just little spring-loaded clips. And once those are off, we can take the little rubber slinky and slide it up and open up to the clutch adjuster right here. Now, what you're really looking for is the amount of play you have in the clutch lever. And this one still has a lot of play in and out. The big thing you're going for is you wanna have the clutch cable as tight as you can or pulled in as tight as you can and have just a wee little bit of slack in the cable, just enough that the cable's relaxed so you know your clutch is fully engaged and also when you move your handlebars, it won't be pulling on your clutch, making your clutch slip. You don't wanna have too much slop up here, otherwise when you pull your clutch in, your clutch won't fully open, then it's possibly hard to shift gears or it can be really difficult to find neutral then. So if your bike's hard to find neutral, you may need to adjust your clutch. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is there's a jam nut on here. Break the jam nut free and back it off. And now this lower piece right here spins. So first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna crank it in a little bit. Just enough that up here on the lever, we can verify that we have a ton of play up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the adjuster out or start backing the adjuster, you know, to tighten up the cable a little bit. So we're going to thread it apart and that's going to pull this clutch lever in. And we're going to watch to the point where the lever makes contact and this gap right here goes away. Once that gap goes away, we're going to back it off just ever so slightly. And that's going to be a mount that actually puts the slack inside the clutch cable, but still gives us full stroke when we pull the clutch. So down here on the adjuster, I'm going to start backing this off and then we will watch up top until the lever makes contact. And we're going to stop right about the point this gap goes away, right where we know everything's kind of snug. Then we'll back off the adjuster, just a wee little bit, and that'll give us a wee little bit of play here so we know the clutch cable is slack. And then when we pull the lever, we still get the full throw that fully opens our clutch, but lets it lock up when we let off the clutch cable. Now that everything's set in place, I'm gonna run our jam nut up here, hold it in place with one wrench, and lock the jam nut in right there. Give your clutch lever another pull to make sure everything's going good right here. And then we can pull the boot down back over the adjuster and put the clamps back on the cable. So we'll pull the boot down here. I'll put our first spring load clamp up over top there onto the frame. Put that up a little higher. Then our second clamp down here at the bottom. And with that, we're ready to go ride. So now that everything's up there in place, give your clutch cable a couple pulls, make sure nothing moved when you uh, put your clamps back on or locked everything down. That's all we have for this Noble Tech Tip. Remember, lowbrowcustoms.com has all your clutch cable and other replacement parts that you might need for your motorcycle. That's all I got. We'll see you next time.